The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the February 9th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that. And that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, no problem. We've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. My apologies, folks. We've got a technical issue that I don't know that we're going to be able to resolve here uh, by the end of the uh, show. And that means uh, that you can't see my charts in Tiger TV nor on uh, inside our Tiger's Den. So I will do my best. So everything is happening for us. The forest is uh, Stevie's going to get a chance to see if he can really articulate clearly what's going on with the inst instruments that uh, you have either requested or that we go ahead and take a look at. So I, I will do my best best now let's just take a look at the general markets out here you can see my screen oh that's perfect that's great all right perfect thank you dan i appreciate that knowing that so uh, they've got something figured out at the uh, production room those guys are geniuses there so that is a beautiful thing all right so now let's go take a look so where do we want to begin here i was going for game plan b Let's take a look at, uh, let's first start taking a look at the index ETFs out here, because right now we have one, well actually we have two that are trading above the top of their prior swing point, the prior swing point potentially being a B point of an A to B equals CDT upside. The first is going to be the Russell 2000 IWM, and that's one of the questions that came in from um, Nicholas. So Nicholas was also wanted to take a look at the IWM. So the B point out here is a trading session of February 2nd. You can see the volume there. It's 42,777. That's that yellow horizontal line at the bottom of my screen. So far, we're at 16 million shares. Odds favor, this is going to be passing the B point. And that's assuming that it closes above 203.90 and you're at 205.75 with lighter volume. Now, what that could be setting up is the possibility of a tiger, Gartley. That was coined by Tom. And uh, so even if you pass a B point with lighter volume, that doesn't mean that you will not come to, that, that, that the A to B equals CD pattern will not come to fruition. It just has, we like to believe that it has more conviction if it is passed with volume, much like the SMH. I mentioned that during the one o'clock update. We'll go take a look at that chart as well. So here you've got a, uh, the first price target is 210.73. So the price target is the one to one A to B equals CD. That doesn't mean that that's where you sell away. That doesn't mean that's where price is going to stop. The way we know when an A to B equals CD pattern completes is you will get the cavalry that comes in. And what I mean by that is you will see some type of bearish reversal candle. So our price targets right now are 210.73, 250. 1503, 220, uh, 50 out there. That would be the range of targets for the IWM. I notice that the Dow Diamonds looks like they are trading above the top of their profile. They are. So 356.66 is the high from that February 2nd date. That had volume of 8.9 million, 8 .9 million shares, 8856. You're at 2.7. So this is light in the loafers as well. Now, this is interesting. So the A to B equals CD would take it to a new all-time high. Just the one-to-one -one level would take you to 373. Now, 
regardless of whether this is going to pass us with volume or not, because the retracement here was only 35 percent, that says there's a lot of energy wound up and it should be able to make a move. The Dow Diamonds, that is, up into the 380 level. In other words, more than a one to one A to B equals CD. But look, we want to take things one step at a time. And right now, take a look. Watch today's close. A close about 356.66 would confirm an A to B equals CD, not necessarily with volume, but still an A to B equals CD pattern that might be unfolding. Now, in the case of the spies out here, so you're going to see no volume. The spies are taking on that same swing point. They have not been able to move above it yet, 458.12. The volume there, 117 million shares, and today you're at 42. So it's moving into that swing point with lighter volume out there. What does that mean? Well, until the it's able to close about 4858.12. That is basically your resistance level. And in the Qs out here, the Qs are trading inside the swing point from February 2nd. That had volume of 78 million. You're only 32 million shares today. So you've, you've got A to B equals CD patterns for the Dow right now and the IWM, neither that have volume. Whereas, and this is another question here for Nicholas, who is... Um, I apologize. I haven't read his full question. I'm just seeing that he's writing in and asking about the IWM and the SMHs. So here in the SMHs, you've already taken out that swing point with volume. I don't know why I did that there, but that's okay. I'll get rid of that. So the B point on this is a trading session of... February 2nd as well. 5.9 million shares on that trading day. You're up above it right now with 7.4 million shares. So the SMH is, Nicholas, still have a resistance level to deal with. The sellers reside at 287.33. And price right now is at 285 in change out here. So if price can close above, doesn't have to be today, but if price can close above where their sellers reside at the 287.33 level, then this is suggesting a move up to 301. 310, 322. But you do, at this stage of the game, you do have a confirmed A to B equals CD to upside. What happens if price closes below 284.04, but has the volume that we see today? Then what that would mean, Nicholas, is you should see another run for that 284.04 area. So watch the semis, the SMH is out here, for an indication as to what the markets are likely going to do. The A to B equals CD patterns, as you and I have taken a look at for the index ETFs, just don't have the volume, but in a couple instances, they have price, and that, too, is important. Now, if we go take a look at the equity future contracts out here, the only one that's holding resistance at this stage here is the NQ. So in the case of the NQ, price is already above the top of its bearish structured profile, but it's running into that descending trend line. So let's just say today's high is uh, about 14.994. If price can close about 14,994, that's going to suggest at least a run back to that February 2nd high. Remember, that February 2nd high would be the level that if price were to close above would give you the A to B equals CD pattern, much like the Russell 2000 is right now, the futures contract. 2058.40 is the B point. We're trading at 2069. This gives you a one to one price projection of 2122. In the case of the Dow, like in the Dow Diamonds, a close above 35,590, and you're at 35,577 right now, but a close above that B point point could be indicating to you and I a move up to the 37,227 area. In the case of the ES Mini, I don't have an A to B equals CD pattern drawn in here, but as we discussed here, uh, much like the uh, uh, spies out here, the next level of resistance is going to be at 46,25. And if price can close above that, then you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Folks, would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Steve at TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's uh, let's see. Do you guys see my screen out here? Um, and we were trying to fix something during the show, and now I don't know. No, that didn't work. Shoot. Oh, man. Don't tell me. What did we just do there? Oh, that's a bummer. Stevie, let me try. Okay, let me see this here. Sorry, folks. We were trying to correct something, and maybe we've made it work. You see me. Yeah, I get that, Tucker. And uh, But that's not going to do anybody a whole lot of good out here. Let me try this once more. Um, I don't know if that's going to catch it or not. Or maybe you're just seeing one chart. I'm not sure out here. But anyway, I'm going to just keep motoring on and try to answer the questions at the uh, only half the screen. Yeah, it's probably not even half the screen. So, um, hmm. I guess there's one other thing. We just see your face and camera. Yeah, so I'm not sure how you guys got to see the... Now, yeah, I know back to me because I stopped something. I'm not sure how I got that connection to work to begin with. Let me try... I apologize, folks. I know that's much more... We're all visual learners here. And so, you know, the beauty of doing this is being able to see my screen. And so, you know, I hate to do this during a live show, but really... Uh, I think you sort of need me to see if we can somehow get this figured out. So I'm going to try to open up this notepad here, you guys in the production room, see if I can connect this the old way. Um, you know, I don't know that it will work, but it's certainly worth a shot. So now, uh, folks, I don't know. Let me know in the Tiger's Den. Uh, that's weird. That's really weird. Okay, maybe this worked. Do you guys see my screen by any chance now? Should be the three screens. Should be the three background screens. Turned it off and then back on to the... Uh, nope, don't see anything. Well, okay, well, bummer bummer there. I shouldn't have tried to fix it, but uh, let's just uh, let's just continue going on here. So uh, John writes in, and uh, John from uh, Wisconsin, uh, Gold, uh, uh, Gold Knights out. Oh, perfect. Okay, so John in Wisconsin wants to take a good Peloton, P-T-O-N. So Peloton, um, first things first, 
does this have a bottoming pattern out here? And the answer is yes. Yesterday, uh, in, in fact, the bottoming pattern came in on January 28th. So, John, if you take a look at your charts, that January 28th low, that bullish engulfing candle, was the confirmation of a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And now what took place yesterday uh, was a big wide-ranging bar and accelerated volume, and price was able to close above the top of that profile, 36.82. Uh, 3662 then you're above it right now so what that suggests is that price the next battle for peloton would be the bottom of its weekly profile 4271 now price has been below the bottom of its weekly profile if this is just a counter trend move in peloton pton that is folks then where price will find resistance is either at 4271 but more likely 4901 so i believe that you're long this Stay long. I don't see a reason to not stay long. And what you're looking for, your battlegrounds are going to be between 4271 and 4901. If price can clear 4901 on a weekly basis, then you're looking at a move up to the 6160 level. So that's what the charts for Pell and above 6160, you're looking at 9146. We're not there to make that call just yet. Now, as I look at the weekly time frame chart. Uh, for potential bottom signals. Uh, it also has a, now this has a bottoming pattern. It's a buy the D point. Now, that buy the D point pattern is being confirmed this week. It's only Wednesday. And so if uh, and it's right now, this is what's referred to as a bull separating candle. So it's a very bullish candle. But it's really going to be dependent upon what this candle looks like at the close on Friday, not necessarily Wednesday at 1.22 in the afternoon. But nonetheless, you go with what you have. So you've got the bullish signal on the daily. You've got the bullish signal on the weekly. And that really suggests that 42.71 to 49.01 level. On a monthly time frame chart for Peloton, what price was able to do is pull back to its breakout level. So on in Peloton's case, this generated a TD9 count the month of December 2020. It actually, the bar following bar, that was bar number nine, the bar, fo bar following number nine, the 21st, uh, January of 2021, peaked above it, or, or uh, price got above that high, which is still valid. So it's got a valid TD9 count. You also have on a monthly basis an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now it's only the ninth. But right now you've got a bull sash candle, and that's a confirming a buy the D point for the monthly time frame chart, which took price, which had taken price back to 2585. That was the breakout level. So I like your trade here, John. It makes sense daily, weekly, monthly. Now what we need to know is if there's strength enough for this instrument to close above that 4901 level. That's what you really want to pay attention to. So sorry that you can't see the charts out here, uh, but I've tried to articulate as close as I can. For each of those time frames, what it's doing, and uh, hopefully that will help you out. Uh, we had another question that came in here from uh, Nick, Nick C. And Nick says, you've been short the HYG. So I've got to pull up the HYG charts here first, folks. Just take a look at that. By the way, that is a high yield a bond fund out here. And uh, right now trading out at 84 bucks. So let me read the question. I've been short HYG since September. Considering taking profits and placing a position in TLT on the long side. Okay, perfect. So I, I agree with I, I agree with the well. Let, let's first see what the charts are telling us. But what, what you're just saying here makes sense, or potentially makes sense. So, with regard to HYG, there's a brand new profile that formed today. And that profile formed, in essence, as the market opened, and that was below price. So the level you've been in this since September. So you've got a nice. Um, well, let me pull this back here. I, it's been a nice move. Yeah, oh, it's been a very nice move being short here since September. So the level that this would need to really close above to suggest that this is ready to make a move higher is going to be 84.25. And 84.25 is the center, Nick, of its bullish structured daily profile. The bottom is 84.08. It's tested and rejected that so far. It's traded 84 bucks. So... You're not really getting the message here to go ahead and, and sell that position. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm letting you know what the charts are communicating to you. So that's the first thing with regard to HYG. Now, I am going to look at my white background charts because oftentimes they provide me with additional information. Okay, they, they so on HYG, today's gap to the upside actually would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. Okay, great. But in order to for this to get legs to the upside, price has to start taking out resistance. Well, we took a look at the bottom of the daily profile. What this is also doing is trading right into its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line here is at 84.10. If price were to close above that, and certainly 84.25, then that's really the signal of a move up to 84.96. But this has not closed above a 
red oscillator and change line. Well, it did it one day. It did it on the January 12th, and the very next day it was back below that level out here. So I see what you're saying for sure. And if you want to close out the trade, by all means, close out the trade. But the market, the buyers here have not yet completely confirmed that this is anything more than just a counter trend move. And that's in the case of HYG. Now, you had mentioned the TLT. I'm not going to show you the TLT. Well, one, because you can't see it. But more importantly, because what we really want to do is take a look at what's going on inside the 30-year Treasury out here. Now, the TLT is made up. It's the 20-year plus bonds out there. And the best way to really take a look at it is what's going on in the underlying instruments. So that means we take a look at the 30-year Treasury. Now, in the case of the 30-year Treasury, right now as we speak, there's a road momentum indicator signal. That means the market is stretched. And right now you have a bullish engulfing candle. And if the 30-year Treasury can close above its oscillator and change line, then that would make a uh, signal that price should move up to the 155, 156 level out there. So um, I would say if price closes above the high of the day, taking that long position in TLT makes sense. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. 
back, uh, folks. So we do have the uh, charts, my charts, on Tiger TV. So if you are in the Tiger's Den and you would like to see the uh, charts, that's going to be the way for you to be able to get them. Oh, it says Den Charts working right now. Okay, hey, perfect. Okay, they've, they've gotten something figured out. So we were talking about the 30-year Treasury here. Now you can see the Rogement Indicator signal. As far as, and also wave number seven, that's letter G, at the uh, bottom. As long as uh, yesterday's low holds, and you'll have that as a confirming signal. But what price really needs to do is close above that red oscillator and change line. And if it can do that, then we're looking at a move up into the uh, center of its profile where there's other resistance out here. So that's what I'll be looking at. Now, the intraday chart, so when an instrument is making a bottom on a daily time frame, what we will typically see is bottoming signals on the intraday charts. Well, if you look at the 30-minute chart, it had a TD9 count, a Rhodes Mentum Indicator bottom, RMI bottom on the 60-minute chart, Rhodes Mentum Indicator bottom on the 120, TD9 count on the 240, uh, I buy the D point on the five hour time frame chart. What we can see here is that price is also running into some resistance level. So at 153.26, 153.20, I'm looking at the 300 and the 240 minute chart out here, um, is that if price is able to close above that, likely we've got a uh, at least a uh, counter trend rally going on inside the 30 year treasury. Now I will go back here momentarily and I'll put up the HYG chart out there. So give me a moment to get this here worked out. And that's not the, oh, you, actually that's HYG charts. And you can see the new profile in the lower left. I was actually gonna pull over my white background chart. So if you give me a moment to do that. And here on HYG, what you can see is, see how price has made it up again to the bottom of that new profile as well as that oscillator and change line. And that's really the level that you would like to see price close above to then suggest that, okay, now is the time to close out that short. Perfect. So we've gotten taken, we've taken care of that. Now let's get to the next questions that have come in. Nick, we've already taken care of the IWM and the SMH is out there. You've got two questions for that. <coughs> Vic writes in and uh, says he wants to, based on its name, inflation responsive fund. This should be a good option of 401k these days, and you're in it. However, you don't see performing well. So let me get first get this up on our screen here. What is the symbol? You didn't put that in here. So that's a slight problem. Um, okay. So what is the uh, – anybody know what that uh, ticker symbol is by any chance? This is the Inflation Responsive Fund. Is that uh, INST, I think, maybe? INST. Let's see if this is an INST. And uh, yeah, so that's it. No, in structure holdings. Hmm. Inflation responsive multi asset. You know, I don't know if that is the uh, symbol that you're looking for. So yeah, I'm not sure that that's it. If you, well, what's this at the bottom? Let me see if I can expand this out. White label fund. Um, sorry, folks, maybe it's here. I, and, and I'm doing the show. You've got to just be a little bit clearer for me. So I don't know. Uh, maybe just write back to me, if you would, with regard to the symbol. Nobody in the den is, uh, is, uh, is, is helping me out there. But uh, your question is it's not responding well and it's named. You know, it's got a cute name. That, that you know, so it's just a marketing thing. Um, you know, that's like um, – that is like, uh, yeah, so it's got a cute marketing name, like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, Operation Warp Speed. It, it, maybe it's warped thinking, and it wasn't warp speed out there. So just because it's got a name, that's just a cute marketing. P-I-R-M-X. -R okay, let's try that one. P-I-R-M-X. This is the PIMCO funds. Uh, I'm not sure if that's it either. So uh, let me wait to hear back from uh, Vic to see exactly what he wants. Uh, but uh, thanks. Uh, I, you know, I see that as another possible uh, fund out there. But maybe there's several of these. But we do have another question that has come in. <clears throat> uh, we do have another question that has come in. I don't recall if there was anything inside the Tiger's Den. But uh, uh, it's been a little. So, and, and this is from Hector and Patty. And Hector wants to take a look at the GDX versus the XLF for midterm holding. Boy, so if we take a look at the uh, GDX out here. So what the XLF has is my recollection is it's got a TD9 count top. We'll go take a look at that. The GDX does not have a uh, TD9 count top. But, you know, neither of them there are anything worth investing in as we speak. As well, I, hold on a minute here, Stevie. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart for the GDX, 
has a confirmed A to B equals C D T upside. The first price projection is at uh, 3211. And 3209 Hector is the top of its daily profile. So what you and I don't know, is that going to uh, set up a Gertley sell pattern? A bullish or bearish reversal candle would say that. Uh, but you're up towards resistance, and I can't ask you to buy resistance. Even on the weekly chart, and you're looking at it from an intermediate term holding standpoint, take a look at all these descending trend lines out here, let alone you've got resistance at 3305, which was tested back uh, the week that began January 17th. So you know that's a significant resistance level. So just simply before I even go to any other charts out here, and I'm not going to at this stage, um, you can see the resistance and prices up near, uh, prices up, well, price is up near a resistance level, so not really the ideal time to enter a long trade. You also asked about the XLF. So in the case of the XLF, and you're asking which one is better. Well, to suggest that you take a long position, the XLF today, would be against every tool that I share with you. So the XLF topped with a TD9 count top. That was on the trading day of January 13th. Looks like price has gotten into that swing point, so we'll go take a look at that. It's rejected it. So if it's on lighter volume, and you've got a TD9 count top, and the oscillator and change line here changing colors recently, again, this on the daily time frame, this is going to suggest that price and oscillator and change line are going to test each other. And that's in about the 39.94 level. It won't be exactly that number, but that gives you the gauge or the range of where price is headed to. So on a daily time frame, you know, buying the XLF now, unless you knew it was going to break out and the TD9 count was going to completely fail, you know, then maybe you're into something. But at this stage, that's not what the signal is. Um, so I would say with regard to, you know, if you're going to ask me to, which one is better, I, neither, because I can't have you buying uh, resistance out there. But uh, so I, I do hope that helps you out, Hector. And um, and if not, my apology. Uh, so I don't believe that there is anything in the tiger's den. Uh, I take that back. Jazz. So uh, the jazzy one out here, J-A-Z-Z, -Z, uh, which is uh, J-A-Z-Z. -Z, is a jazz pharmaceuticals is part of the uh, pot sector out there so they must have uh, something to do with that and the uh, jazz pharmaceuticals has got a nice move today uh wide wide ranging bar kind of light in the loafers with regard to volume satish it's got uh, 185,000 shares but what price is doing is uh, stopping right where one group of sellers exist and that's at the center of the profile there's both buyers and sellers at that center level at 145.09 we're trading at 145.09 so if price can close above this level could make a move to the top of that profile and that would be 149 61. If price can move above that, then the last battleground from a profile standpoint is going to be 152.32 out there. Let me get Jazz going on at least the daily time frame chart on my white background screens out here and uh, see what that looks like. So we'll pull this over as we go into the breakout here. You're trading. Ah, ah there you go. So Jazzy one has really got to clear 145.88. 145.88 is a TD9 count breakdown level. If you can do that, then you're looking at 149.61 and maybe higher prices. We've got a request in the Tiger's Den to take a look at Rivian. R-I-V-N is the ticker symbol. We'll do that as soon as we get back from this break. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So up on my screen, we've got Rivian Automotive out here. And uh, really, it's only the daily time frame. Uh, the weekly could generate some signals for us, uh, but it's mostly the daily time frame. Out. Oh, I take that back. All right, so let's look at it this way. First, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. That gives you a price projection of 43.93. The actual low so far came in on January 20th, and that's at the uh, $50 even Steven mark. Um, so has the A to B equals CD pattern completed? No, not really. Does it have to complete? Maybe, maybe not. Let's go take a look at the white background chart. So what? here's what we can say. Here's what we do know. There's not been a close above the top of a daily profile out here. And the top of that profile is at 7105. So I don't recall who requested Satit. No, I don't recall who requested to take a look at the Rivian. Flip did. So Flip, you need to see a close above 7105. That's where the counter trend rally, if this is only a counter trend rally, would uh, stop. On the white background charts, to suggest that you should have that counter trend rally, if we look at the daily time frame, you do have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal out here. Um, but the first time that signal produced a move up to the top of that daily profile. So that 7105 area is really going to be key to you. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, and this is why I say, hey, you know what? Maybe this does have uh, some potentials because you are going to get a confirmed TD9 count bottom out here. So, but there's not enough data, and you still really need to rely upon the daily time frame. So it would be a close about 7105. Whoa, lost sound, lost everything, I think. Hello, hello. Earth, Earth to Stevie. Earth to Stevie. What do we have here? Okay, back, great. So in the case of Rivian, just I don't know if anybody heard this, this does have a TD9 count bottom pattern for the weekly time frame. So you've got a confirmed bottom on the daily, confirmed bottom on the weekly. Now to prove itself to you, Rivian will need to close above 7105. If it does that, then you've got something there, Flip. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. David in Tomball, Texas wants to take a look at ticker symbol MOS. That is Mosaic out here. So let's go see what it is doing. And a Mosaic trading out. So it's got an A. I've got a couple A to B equals CD patterns, it looks like, that are out here, although a couple of them are wrong now uh, because prices change. But Let's go ahead and type in that A to B equals CD. The A pattern out here is the low from December 1st. The B point is going to be the high out here from January 18th and the C point down at the January 24th level. The B point had volume of 5 million shares and it was passed with 
7 million shares. So the one to one complete, one to one price target for a mosaic on an A to B equals CD level will get you to 475.55. A 0.618 retracement, strong move because price is along the left side of that C to D leg. So what this suggests to us is this will do more than a one to one A to B equals CD to upside. 5040 would be the 1.272 level. That's really sort of confirmed here about the move higher because price is above the top of the weekly, price above the top of the monthly profile. So let's go take a look at the white background chart, see if there's any other pieces of information to put this together. You're in bar number seven out of TD9 count. It says you could get a top that forms between tomorrow and Monday out there. Could, but to let that pattern unfold. Otherwise, everything here looks good on the daily chart. The weekly chart says a not so fast, Stevie uh, and David, uh, is preparing to form a TD9 count top. Now, that tie is either going to be this week or it could be a higher high next week. So this does say you could see some type of short-term time frame chart out there. I would say it's likely going to be, this is bar number seven today, tomorrow's bar number eight. It could be this week too. Uh, so watch for the TD9 count top. Now what that should do, if you get that out here, David, is pull back to its oscillator and change line or the top of its daily profile. So it's in the 4308 to let's say 44 level out there. Your question is in, uh, interested in trading range boundaries and OUL on the daily and weekly chart. So 4367 on the daily and 4207 on the weekly. And Mosaic on the monthly chart was really running into a resistance level established by its breakdown, its TD9 breakdown. Well, that's at 47.68 out there. But the monthly looks pretty strong. So let the daily and weekly do their things. Uh, the weekly's given us a signal. I'd keep my eyes on the daily uh, for that potential top, and it'll pull back to that oscillator and change line or the top of that daily profile. So David H., I hope that that helps you out. Uh, Tyrone has written in, he's got a symbol here, A-G-A-D-A-J-A-D-X is a possible inflation-adjusted fund, but uh, my, my system is not pulling that up for some reason. So uh, thank you for your efforts, uh, Tyrone. And uh, um, again, I'm not sure if that's the uh, symbol that uh, that was being requested, but uh, we'll, we'll get a response back and we'll take a look at that tomorrow. So what do we do? We've been through all the questions. I believe I've been through every question inside the Tiger's Den. If I have not, please type it back in and uh, we'll get to it. So in the meantime, what do we want to do? You know, now we've got these charts up here. LCID on YouTube. Okay. So LCID is a, and this is for Eric V. And so let me get this going on my LCID, which is a Lucid Group. Okay. So Lucid Group right now is trading below its a weekly profile. So not necessarily great, but you can see it's trading into an area where it broken out from, which was the week that began on October 25th. And the volume there was 745 million shares you're pulling back with much lighter volume 57 million shares through wednesday at 148. the daily time frame chart shows price consolidating inside its uh, daily profile seeing a to b equals cd to the downside let's go see if lucid gives us any kind of bullish bottoming patterns out here and uh, you do have a td9 count bottom that formed on the trading day of january 28th as long as that low is not taken out uh, which means a close below it, uh, you've got that valid bottom. What price is dealing with here is that red oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line for Lucid is up at the 2861 level. That is a price that you need to see price close above. Now, if it does that, you still have another battle. The battle's at 3083. And if price can take that out, then you've got to move up to 4295. That's the message of the daily chart. The weekly chart out here doesn't help us out. No bottoming signal, no bottoming pattern out here. So you're really going to have to rely upon the strength of the daily, the weekly doesn't give us anything out here. So right now, in the case of Lucid, valid bottom, price has improved itself. And really to prove itself, you need to close above $30.83 out there. So I hope that that helps you out, whoever, whoever had uh, requested that. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got a request to take a look at uh, Sava, S-A-V-A. -A. So let's go do that. And then you've got uh, PRQR. So in the case of Sava, what you like here is prices above the top of its daily pro. But it's basically been above it for the last four trading days. So it looks like a real breakout here. Breakout to where? Well, it turns out that it's in a bullish structured weekly profile. But you can see a descending trend line. And that descending trend line is really where price needs to close above. Today, that'd be about the 5230-ish type area out there. But if price can take out that descending trend line, then you're looking for a move up to about the 64.97 level out there. Um, let me do this here, S-A-V-A. -A. Let me just get it going on. Oops, 
on the daily time frame chart on my white background. This should populate pretty quickly. We'll go ahead and pull this over and see what else it's dealing with. Okay, so I'm glad that we did this. So here's what we know. Is at 49.95. So it wasn't really the top of the daily profile. That's the uh, issue here for Saba. It's the TD9 breakdown level. So this formed a TD9 count bottom. It formed wave number seven bottom. And now what price is dealing with is its TD9 breakdown level, 49.95. If Saba can close above this area, then it's got its mojo. And that mojo says you can see it move all the way to the 77.37 level. So that's what's going on as we take a look at Cassava Sciences, ticker symbol there, SA. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at ticker symbol PRQR, which we can see form wave number seven. That's letter G. Uh, that did that on uh, January 24th. It also generated Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on January 28th. And what this has done is this has taken price right up to resistance. Resistance is at 587, where it's trading right now. That's the top of its daily profile. I did close above it on the 7th, but then yesterday back below it, and right now it's trading on it. So you really need two consecutive closes above this level to suggest that price wants to move higher. Now, its ultimate goal and target is 
is eight dollars and forty seven cents. That's the TD nine breakdown level. That's the daily message. The weekly chart says, "Hey, hold your horses, Steve O. All I really want to do is make a move up to the six sixty five level, and that is where its oscillator and change line changed colors last week. So that's really going to be the next test and the potential resistance level for PRQR. The monthly time frame chart doesn't really help us out, uh, so nothing really to add there. So that's what's going on there. We've got about a minute left before we go to break. Sorry for the uh, technical difficulties that we've uh, had here, but we seem to have managed through them. Uh, let's just take a look at this nine panel chart out here, see if there's anything of significance. See, the significance is that the spot volatility is below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's uh, panel number two in the uh, center there. That says that the ES Mini really should make a run for the top of its daily profile at 46.25, maybe higher than that. The NQ trading right into resistance, the descending trend line, I don't expect it will hold because the ES, the YM, the Russell 2000 descending trend line did not hold there either. Doesn't mean that it can't, but boy, odds favor that it's not likely. Gold looks like it's going to go target 18.50. Silver looks like it's going to go target 23.92. Natural gas wants to head lower. Could head lower all the way down to 359, the bottom of its weekly profile. The 30 year Treasury is attempting to form a uh, a, uh, a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom out here. And even though you've got a nice TD9 count top in the case of Lights Weed Crude, it needs to close below 8702 to even suggest a short term change in trend. Well, folks, thanks so much for staying here. Stay in tuned in. You've got David White up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. So have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. We'll see you again soon.